Hello, Project Life Size. It's Saturday. Um, I debated a lot about making this video about a certain topic. Um, but I decided it's what I needed to do just to put this out into the universe. Tomorrow is Father's Day. And that's Sunday. And then a couple days later, Tuesday, is the two-year anniversary of the day my dad died. Um, my dad was a wonderful man. He was 62, and um, he went to the doctor for bronchitis, um, was diagnosed with with cancer a week later and died three weeks after that. And I don't want to bring anybody down at all. I love my dad. And he used to tell the best stories. He <laughs> was in the Navy in the 60s and he was on a destroyer. And one of his favorite moments with his friends was when they would shoot the big guns off to test them and they'd all run downstairs because Coke machines would shoot, or Coke bottles would shoot out of the Coke machines every time the gun went off, and they'd get free Cokes. That was my dad. He worked nights my entire life, but when I had a softball game, he would, because he was home all day, he would iron my uniform and bring it to me every day when we had a game, and always bring me strawberry yuhu. We used to have these conversations in the car and he would pretend to be someone from India or Russia and he would do these thick, horrible accents. And um, he would be saying, what, what is this baseball? What is baseball? I don't understand. And I would have to explain it to him. And if I didn't put it in the simplest, most basic terms, he would say, no, no, I don't understand. And I'd have to re-explain it. And I'm convinced that that's what's made me a good teacher in life. And I attribute that to him. He was an artist who would draw amazing things. Um, he had a beautiful tenor singing voice. He took us to baseball games and sitting and sitting next to him, even if I didn't really, you know, at six really understand what was going on, that was the best feeling in the whole world to be there with him. There were times in the year or two before he died because he had just retired. And um, there were times he would call me out of nowhere. And, hey, what's going on? Because he had nothing to do but play cards all day or whatever. And I didn't have time. There's never enough time. But you can make minutes feel like lifetimes just by paying attention and by acknowledging another person if that's your best friend or your roommate or your girlfriend or your mom just acknowledge the moment no matter how simple it is there's only so many of them you can have the memories are what stop you from feeling like if you had it all to do it all over again, you wouldn't, because it hurts so much. That's what makes it worth it. Find a minute today with someone you love, with, whether it's your dad or whomever. Just make it count. Make it count. Daddy, I love you. I like to think that every day is Father's Day in heaven. I miss you, Homer.